quote, bunny-like, unquote, Dawn Eden, and you're watching Video Wave, watching a linear babe in a visual and auditory medium, and you just saw, <laughs> pretentious, aren't we? You just saw 808 State with a video called 1 in 10, and next up you're going to see me being even more pretentious, interviewing EBN, what has to be the most dysfunctional interview ever. Hi there, my name's Don Eden, and I'm here upstairs at the Limelight with Emergency Broadcast Network. I'm going to let the guys introduce themselves. I'm Gardner Post, Systems Management. <laughs> Joshua Pearson, Public Relations Programming. Ron O'Donnell, Spin Control. <laughs> um, now, t tell, tell me, um, did you work your way up, Gar Gardner, in into uh, Systems Management, or w did, did you start in that position? Uh, I, I worked worked my way up years years in the company. What was your first uh, position with the company? Uh, I guess uh, just design work and construction. Mm -hmm. I, I see. When I was thinking, you know, besides that's a cool name for a group. I was thinking, okay, now is the U.S. government going to sue you for taking, you know, the name from their emergency broadcast network? Uh, uh, emergency broadcast system. <laughs> Kind of like that Goodyear Goodrich thing. <laughs> that didn't even occur to me. God. Very cool. Now, um, I brought along with me uh, this copy of the Marshall McLuhan book because I thought this way I could look nice and pretentious and go into, <laughs> could go into the sociological aspects of what you do. Basically, for the uh, uninitiated out there in TV land, uh, what these guys do is they use TV uh, in a in a way that um, I haven't seen any rock band use it before. It's an integral part of their entertainment. Although it still um, it stands on its own uh, sound-wise, too, which you can test just by turning the image down on your TV screen when you see their videos. Uh, but they're a very um, global village. OK, again, I'm being pretentious, Marshall McLuhan type, type of 1990s group. Um, so I asked them to pick their favorite quote from this, and uh, can, you, can you read me the one you quoted? Sure. Such a mosaic image of numerous data and quotations in evidence offers the only practical means of revealing causal operations in history. So I've just known each other for about five minutes. Can I call you EBN? Sure. Ah, they love me. Um, so, I, I wanted to talk to you about the psychosociological implications of the video and music which you, dear Video Wave viewers, have just seen. Well done. We can't <laughs> confirm or deny the uh, alleged hidden meaning or apparent uh, interconnectedness of the data which is present in our work. Uh, what we're doing basically is just uh, analyzing and evaluating the incoming data and putting it back out there for the public to decide for themselves. You know, what surprises me is that like the three of you, well I understand you met at the Rhode Island School of Design and that the three of you like seem like, like very erudite young men, which, which I appreciate, erudite yes. y young men. And <laughs> And the question to me is that the music that you, the videos and music that you've come up with is stuff that requires zero attention span, zilch, yet linear literate thinking requires people to follow concepts through. So I just don't understand why li seemingly literate people like, like you would make music which, and videos which actually almost like conspire to deprive people of their attention spans and make them into zombies. Well, we like to embody all of these contradictions in our work because, as we know, the universe is full of contradictions. Uh, we like to embody these types of contradictions in our work. Uh, we like to embody these types of contradictions in our work. Mm. Do you uh, repeat things a lot when you sit? <laughs> we do like to. Do you um? feel that by being so political but yet not having any real focused message sort of 
I sound like I'm being pretentious, but I'm really not. Sort of like inspires apathy among people. You know what I mean? Because people get so much information that they just can't right. do anything. Well, what what we really feel like we want to do for the public is to basically heighten their awareness through sensory overload of that very uh, image overload that they're receiving every day. In other words, to exaggerate the mm -hmm. overload we're receiving every day. We're hoping to empower the public to give them the ability to discern whether or not mm -hmm. the information they're receiving is how much it has it been manipulated. Mm -hmm. We want to make people aware of the manipulation of the information they're already receiving. By mm -hmm. re-manipulating it, uh, we're able to do that to a certain extent. However, all of this is an ongoing study. We are not certain what the effects of any of our products may or may not have on people. It's an interesting experiment. It, it, in a way, it's sort of too bad that it couldn't be done like on a like real nationwide scale where every channel of every TV was tuned to EBN. Well, I mean, you know, we the first we're working towards that step by step. I mean, we're trying to I'm, I'm sure increase our exposure, you know, to the public through all media, through uh, the music, uh, CDs, tapes, videotape, and eventually work our way towards uh, uh, an actual television cable channel. Because as we all know, as the Clinton and Gore administration uh, heralds the new age of the high-speed information network, and we're about to see our cable channels jump from 50 to 200, uh, right, right. We think that down the line we're going to be able to tap into that network at some point mm -hmm. and be able to enter, you know, 250 million, 300 million homes. Mm -hmm. We want to make people aware of the manipulation of the information they're already receiving. Basically, heighten their awareness through sensory overload. Basically, heighten their awareness through sensory overload. Sensory overload. Television. to really thank you guys for for coming down. I, I hope you've had thank as much you. fun as, as I have. Um, I, I, this is Don Eden with Emergency Broadcast Network for Video Wave. Don't say I didn't warn you about that interview. Am I right? Am I right? Uh, next we're going to have um, the video Supermodel by RuPaul, a friend of mine is his dealer.